And as you know, uh, women are underrepresented in this extractive sector. And uh, generally, women are more impacted by project or by activity operation for extractive sector. And uh, for example, uh, women communities uh, lend her lands for her activity to generate revenue, and she not generally associated for the consultation and for professional level, uh, the policy of recruitment are generally no sensitive for women uh, and women uh, generally no, be, are low underrepresented in decision making and she don't have access to resources, access to opportunities and some things she have affected uh, by, uh, by environment damage, uh, health and environment uh, pollution generally and violence in extractive uh, area and uh, human rights, uh, she need to have uh, human rights protection for her right. First is gender mainstreaming in public policy and uh, after gender mainstreaming you need to be uh, to apply it or to, uh, to implement this action and uh, create condition for women participation in uh, decision making, for women participation in consultation, for women participation in governance and uh, to have quota for, for training, a uh, quota for uh, women project for empower women. Uh, you need to be have quota for uh, recruitment policy. You need to be uh, quota for uh, representative. And we need to take into account uh, sustainable development goal number five for gender equality in everything what we do in the governance in extractive sector. Mm -hmm.